then it will determine the electric potential of an infinite plate or parallel plates using the electric field. So remember that for an infinite plate that's positively charged, we derive the electric field using Gauss's law, which was sigma on 2 by the permittivity of free space, and recalling the relationship between the electric field and the electric potential, which is the first derivative of the electric potential with respect to the distance from the plate. So if we substitute for the electric field and separate the variables, we get sigma on 2 epsilon naught dr is equal to dv. And then dividing through by the negative, we get a negative on this side. And recognizing that the electric field, at some point, that's at a distance d from the plate, which is quite small compared to the dimensions of the plate, then the electric field is basically uniform. And if we integrate both sides, we can take this outside the integral. And we're going to integrate from naught to d, so basically getting the electric potential relative to the surface of the plate. So what we get is minus sigma on 2 epsilon naught by d is equal to the change in potential. So as we can imagine, if we had a test positive charge here, and moved it at some distance d away from the plate, then we expect a drop in the potential. Now in this case where we have oppositely charged parallel plates, we know there's only electric field in between those plates, and outside those plates there's no electric field, as we've derived in previous videos. And in between the plates, we know that the electric field was equal to sigma on the permittivity of free space using the principle of superposition. And suppose that these plates are separated by a distance d, and we'd like to move a charge from the positive plate to the negative plate. So remember that the electric field is minus the derivative of the potential with respect to r, and if we separate the variables and integrate, well what we get is dv is equal to minus sigma on epsilon naught dr, and given that the distance between the plates is much smaller than the dimensions of the plates, then we can take this outside the integral and integrate both sides. And on the right hand side we're going to integrate from d equals 0 to d. So that's going to effectively give us the change in potential between the plates. So basically we have the potential at the negative plate minus the potential at the positive plate is equal to minus sigma on epsilon naught d. So because we have a negative potential on the right here, well therefore the electric potential at the positive plate is greater than the electric potential at the negative plate. And note that the change in potential is equal to minus the work done by the electric field as a charge moves from point A to point B. So in this case, from the positively charged plate to the negatively charged plate. And we need to divide by Q because the potential is in joules per coulomb. So effectively what we get here is a positive result. If we move a charge from the positively charged plate to the negatively charged plate, because we're moving it along with the electric field. So the work done is positive. And I'll see you in the next video.